Man United double transfer medical planned as Bruno Fernandes' agreement claim made. Manchester United are reportedly close to reaching an agreement with Bruno Fernandes over an extension of his contract at the club. The club captain is set to commit his future at Old Trafford in a huge statement of intent by Ineos. Fernandez has been one of United's most consistent performers since his 2020 move from Sporting CP. The 29-year-old has appeared over 230 times for the Reds, scoring 79 goals and producing another 66 assists. According to Fabrizio Romano, an agreement has been reached with Fernandez over a new deal valid until June 2027. The agreement is said to include the option for a further year to 2028, which will run until the midfielder is 33. News says, this is a no-brainer. Fernandez has been United's best player for the last four years, there is no doubt about that. Although Fernandez is set to turn 30 next month, he still has plenty of seasons at his best remaining and looked in tip-top shape against City in the Community Shield clash. As Manchester United gears up for a potentially transformative transfer window, recent developments suggest that the club is preparing for a significant overhaul of its squad. The latest reports indicate that United are planning a double transfer, medical, for two high-profile targets, with additional claims emerging about an agreement concerning their star midfielder Bruno Fernandes. Sources close to the club reveal that Manchester United is on the verge of finalizing deals for two key players, whose medical evaluations are expected to be conducted concurrently to streamline the transfer process. While the identities of the two players have yet to be officially confirmed, speculation is rife that one of them could be a top-tier defensive talent, aligning with the club's ongoing efforts to shore up their backline. The second target is rumored to be a versatile attacking player aimed at injecting fresh dynamism into the squad. The planning of a double medical is a testament to Manchester United's strategic approach, aiming to complete the transfers efficiently and ensure both players are fit and ready for the upcoming season. The club's medical staff are prepared to handle the rigorous assessments and ensure that all necessary checks are performed to mitigate the risk of post-transfer issues. In addition to the transfer news, there are growing reports about an agreement concerning Bruno Fernandes. The Portuguese midfielder, who has been a pivotal figure in Manchester United's midfield since his arrival, is reportedly close to signing a new contract with the club. This potential agreement would see Fernandes commit his future to United, underlining his importance to the team and solidifying his role as a central figure in their plans. The new contract for Fernandez is expected to include improved terms, reflecting his value to the squad and his influential presence both on and off the pitch. The club's management views Fernandez as a cornerstone for their midfield, and securing his long-term commitment is seen as a crucial step in their broader strategy for squad development. The combination of these developments preparing for a double transfer medical and finalizing Fernandez's new contract, signals Manchester United's ambition to build a squad capable of competing at the highest levels. Fans and analysts alike are eagerly awaiting official confirmations and further details on these exciting updates. As the transfer window progresses, Manchester United's activity will be closely watched, with the potential arrivals and Fernandez's contract extension representing significant moves in the club's ongoing efforts to reclaim its status as a dominant force in English and European football. Manchester United are reportedly on the brink of finalizing a significant contract extension for their star midfielder, Bruno Fernandez. The news comes as the club looks to secure the long-term future of one of their most influential players, underscoring their commitment to building a squad capable of competing at the highest levels. Fernandez, who joined Manchester United in January 2020 from Sporting CP, has been a central figure in the team's midfield. His vision, creativity, and goal-scoring ability have made him a fan favorite and a key component of United's attacking play. 
Since his arrival, Fernandez has consistently been among the team's top performers, contributing both goals and assists, and playing a crucial role in shaping the club's recent successes. The reported agreement between Fernandez and Manchester United would see the Portuguese international sign a new contract that extends his stay at Old Trafford. Although specific details of the extension have not yet been disclosed, it is anticipated that the new deal will reflect Fernandez's importance to the squad and offer him improved terms, in line with his standing as one of the Premier League's premier midfielder. Amadou Onana explains why he snubbed Man Ut to make £50 million Aston Villa transfer move. Manchester United were admirers of Amadou Onana before the Belgium international midfielder made a £50 million move from Everton to Aston Villa, who boast Champions League football. Amadou Onana has explained his decision to join Aston Villa in a £50 million transfer deal, despite interest from Manchester United. Onana, 22, had been tipped for a move to Old Trafford before signing on the dotted line at Villa Park putting pen to paper on a five-year contract. Villa paid Everton a club record fee to sign the Belgium international, who played every minute of their Euro 2024 campaign. United were linked with Onana throughout last season, and the Red Devils remained keen on recruiting a young, defensive-minded midfielder to succeed Casemiro. Arsenal were also credited with interest, but it's not the glamour of those clubs that Onana wanted. In an interview with Belgian outlet La Dernière Heure, after joining Vila, he explained, I think that's where I should be, Vila. And for me, Aston Vila is part of the top of English football. The ranking speaks for itself and is significant. The general public may think that it is not the most glamorous club, but it was the best choice for the player I am today. The question does not arise because Aston Villa is a top club. I went where I felt the right ambition and the best project to make me grow. Onana, who swapped Leela for Everton in 2022, added, I'm just extremely happy to be here. I was able to feel the atmosphere at the club a little, meet the various employees of Aston Villa. The vibe is good, the mood is good, I'm ready to get to work. They come out of an excellent season with a fourth place. And you add to that the fact that the environment seemed to me the most conducive to my development and that I will be able to work with Unai Emery, one of the most qualified coaches in the field. I can learn a lot of things by his side and reach the next level. I have always been very in tune with this objective of constant improvement. It was the perfect step. Everything has been calculated and analyzed. I am where I was supposed to be. United's focus has now turned to Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Manuel Ugarte. The 23-year-old Uruguayan only signed for PSG last summer, costing 60 million euros, 51 million pounds, from Sporting Lisbon. But he's now the subject of talks between the two clubs. Amadou Onana, who has been a standout performer in recent seasons, was the subject of intense interest from some of Europe's elite clubs. Manchester United, with their rich history and recent resurgence under new management, presented an attractive offer. However, Onana ultimately opted for a move to Aston Villa, a decision that has left many surprised. Onana's decision to join Aston Villa can be attributed to several key factors. Onana cited Aston Villa's ambitious project and long-term vision as a major influence on his decision. Under the guidance of manager Unai Emery, Villa has been rapidly establishing itself as a competitive force in the Premier League. The club's plans for growth and its recent improvements in squad depth and performance made a compelling case for Onana. At Aston Villa, Onana is expected to play a central role in the midfield, with the club seeing him as a crucial part of their plans. The opportunity to be a cornerstone in a burgeoning team was a significant draw for the Belgian international. In contrast, Manchester United's midfield options and the high competition for starting places may have presented uncertainties about Onana's role and playing time. Onana expressed a desire to be in an environment where he could grow both personally and professionally. 
Aston Villa's supportive environment and clear pathway for player development were key factors in his decision. The chance to take on a leadership role at a club on the rise was particularly appealing. Lifestyle and personal considerations also played a role in Onana's decision. Aston Villa's location and the club's approach to player welfare and family life were seen as beneficial for his overall well-being. But Aston Villa's acquisition of Onana represents a significant coup for the club. The £50 million transfer fee underscores their commitment to building a competitive squad. Onana's arrival is expected to enhance Villa's midfield capabilities and provide a boost to their ambitions of securing European football. Amadou Onana's decision to snub Manchester United in favor of a move to Aston Villa is a testament to the evolving dynamics of football transfers. His choice reflects a combination of professional ambition, personal preferences, and the appealing project at Aston Villa. As Onana embarks on this new chapter of his career, both Aston Villa and Manchester United will be keenly observing how his decision unfolds in the coming seasons.